Hi, my name is Ron. And my name is LaShawn. Welcome back to the Three Minute Marriage Moment. Well, we got a good question for this week. Our question for this week was, my husband feels that the Lord is leading him to another church, us to another church. And I don't feel like we should leave our current church home. I love it. What should I do? Good question. So should a woman follow her husband wherever he leads? Yes, I feel that you should follow, you know, and especially if he's a man of God, if he's one that's following after God, not doing anything wrong, doing things like the way he's supposed to be doing. Seeking the Lord. Exactly. I really don't see a really big problem with it. Now, if you're happy with the current church that you at right now, um, now maybe y'all could do some negotiations. You know, that's always possible. Right. I mean, negotiation, like transitions, like um, your family is used to worship in a certain time or a certain place. Um, You can kind of like divide up the Sundays or the Wednesdays or, you know, something like that. Every family is a little bit different. But the biggest question is, do you trust your husband and do you trust that he hears from God? Because there are some times that, you know, my husband says that God is leading him to do something or our family. And I don't have to like it, actually. But if I if I trust his judgment, I trust his relationship with God, I pray and I support and I have to, you know, I roll with it. I mean, if it's not sin, if it's not, you know, something that's going to, you know, endanger our family or him, then, you know. Right. Because I remember when we first got married, you know, at our old church, you know, not to mention which old church it was. And then one of the mothers had said, you know, hey, after you get married, your wife could come. I was like, absolutely not. That was like almost like backsliding. So in this decision with that, you know, I had to make a decision to say what was best for our family, you know, and best for our family at the time for her, you know, we we went to um, the church, you know, that we came from where it got birthed at and raised and really learned a whole lot more. So then I learned how to start leading, you know, from there. And then the church we got to currently now where we at, you know, praise God, you know, it was a decision that, you know, we talked about right. and we really felt that the Lord was leading us there. Yeah, and but, God spoke to both of us about that move. Um, but there have been some moves in our family that God, I'm, I'm going to say initially just spoke to Ron about or just spoke to me about. And but because he is the leader of our family, um, sometimes I just I, most of the time I just have to back it up. I might have an opinion to offer. I might have a concern or some more information to offer. But ultimately, um, he's allowed to make that decision. Yep. And also, too, to the other ladies that's out there. And if you're going through the same thing, you're like, I love my church. It's OK. And just like my wife said, you know, negotiate on it. And I know it's going to be hard, especially you've been at, you know, such and such church for 20 and 30 years. You was raised there. But look at the spiritual growth. If your husband's staying in church, you Hello. know, that's the main thing. Because right. a lot of guys, they don't even want to go to church. Right. So if he's willing to stay in church and if he want to go, you know, somewhere, you can always come back and visit. It's not like you banned from the church. We are the body of Christ. Exactly. We all one fitly joint together. And, you know, there are times, you know, when if you guys just sit down and have the conversation, we um, have counseled other couples that they split the Sundays or the mm-hmm. husband does not have a problem with her going to another church they're perfectly fine i mean of course best case scenario is that you worship together but if if there's such a discrepancy or there there's a um a potential backlash for your family you know to to move suddenly then transition transitions are hard and following god is never comfortable but we want to encourage you you know you will find peace in that place but trust your husband if he's a trustworthy man of god if he hears from god Trust him, and most of all, trust your father, because God is everywhere. Right. And then just say this real quick. You don't have to trust your husband. Trust Trust the the God God in him. That's what you do. But then thank you so much for this time. And then we're going to say a little mention of what next week is going to (laughs) be. Are we going to give it away? Just a little bit. Oh, my God. Next week is going to be good. We're going to be talking about independence versus interdependence. So catch us next week. Keep the questions coming. Yes. This is really, really good. Yes. Thank you so much. Keep in contact with us, songsofsolomonri.com. Or hit us up on Facebook at Songs of Solomon Relationship Institute. May you have an awesome, wonderful week. God bless. Peace. Peace. All the time. We die.